Hey, hi, everybody. It's me, the Earthling. Uh, well, I know I don't have to explain who I am. Uh, I am who I am. Hi, Miss Lovely. How you doing, kiddo? Hello, Christy. Hi, sweetie. Zoom gets. <laughs> You're one of my favorites. You, Zoom gets. And, and, uh, what do you call yourself? Absolutely lovely or dangerously lovely? <laughs> You're absolute, both of it, absolutely lovely. One in Europe, one in America. But anyway, regardless, I'm just here to give the news. The way I see it. And uh, it's just kind of funny that how I, how I, I've been watching the news and seeing how this uh, the, the New York, Governor to Cuomo, descendant of a uh, New York state of all things, signs the... Uh, Equality of Marriage Act. And the key phrase there is equality. Uh, if they want to get married, you know, I guess that's their business. Me, I don't know why they would even want to get married instead of just going to get in a civil union. You would think that most gays and lesbians would be free thinkers, atheists. You would think so. But it would surprise you to know there's a lot of them that are consider themselves Christians. Yeah, I don't get it. I really, really do not get it. I understand that a lot of these people think that, you know, they want to be delusional, but for a person to actually worship the same book that calls them evil and any other kind of nasty name uh, that connotates evil in the Bible. Uh, homosexuality is one of them, I guess. Do not lay like a man with a woman or whatever the hell they want to say. And uh, this is the same Bible, the same people, the same God that uh, wants you to cut off a piece of your baby's penis. Or, uh, or uh, let's see, if your brother doesn't believe in the same God you do, you're supposed to stone him to death. And your, your daughter is a virgin, you got to stone her. I mean, everything's full of... All he ever wants to do is kill somebody if they break one of his silly rules. And they're all sexual. It's all about sexual frustration. Because it seems like all over the Bible, Quran, Torah, all, all of their little rules focus on the, uh, some kind of sexual pleasure. Uh, well, it's all pleasure. Let me tell you. It's only theists, religious people, who think sex is a bad thing. Yeah. That's because they feel so guilty. You know, they don't understand that actually being naked and having sex with a woman is a very good thing. They don't even remember their own book, which is really funny, which says, be fruitful and multiply. They don't care. They use that to, as an excuse to tell people crap like, uh, if you don't get your penis mutilated, you're going to get diseases. Or that uh, if you use condoms, you're going to get AIDS. Or that, uh, you know, this, that, and the other thing. All the other little things they try to come up with, they make up things. Europeans think we're crazy. Because we actually have to, uh, I mean, people around here actually, uh, think uh, there's something wrong with you if you don't want your penis circumcised or if you don't want to mutilate your baby. It's weird. The Europeans think we're crazy. In fact, if you look at all the old statues, Roman, Michelangelo, all of them, all of them are whole. Now, in this whole message is this new uh, disorder they're now calling, they're calling erectile dysfunction. Uh, they keep, you know, if you'll notice when you, uh, when you see the uh, advertisements, the uh, uh, public notices, uh, whatever you want to call them, and they tell you about, you know, the uh, treatments, it's, it's always a drug. Never once do you hear the words reattachment procedure. Does anyone else know what that is? 
that's so that a man who is no longer whole because his parents had him mutilated or his rabbi or some stupid ass doctor who believed some other Jew doctor that it's actually a health benefit. It'll keep you from getting germs, keep you from getting this, that, and that. No, that's what the prey push part of its job is to do that very thing. Keep germs out of the urethra and such. If it gets dirty underneath, clean the damn thing. It's that simple. I've been whole all my life. Unfortunately, my three brothers, all three circumcised. All three have ED. My brother Lane, right now, Bill actually is his real first name. We call him Lane, middle name, my wife. Anyway, another story for another day. However, he's constantly. Now, now that we've, we've discussed it, he's thought about it. He remembers now. Feeling the, the his, his uh, uh, glance. Just, you know, rubbing on the denim and rubbing on something, getting little sores on it once in a while, or it feeling sore, or having it feel tender, you know, and uh, half the time you can't even get a, uh, an erection because there's, well, there's nothing for his penis to grow into. Do you understand? When you're circumcised, you've already pulled the, gl the glance down. You won't, not glance, excuse me, prey poos. You've already, the prey poos has been taken away, so it can no longer pull down and therefore let your glance come up the head. So you're, you're already erect, basically. So if you're getting gorged with blood in a proper erection, you're tightening that skin. And men experience that, and they seem to think it's something else because doctors have told them all this time that it's something else. And I hear these guys come out about how their parents told them that when they were the five or whatever, they had to, they had a real tight foreskin, so they had to get it circumcised. That's a bunch of baloney. That's another one of those excuses, another one of those false maladies the Jews came up with in order to, to be able to uh, keep their ritual alive and not be outlawed for pedophilia, mutilating penises. Part of that, part of the breast is the moil actually getting what they call the first blood. He has to suck the first blood as part of the ritual. That's blood sacrifice. That's pagan ritual bullshit for crying out loud. Does he think there's some omnipotent, omniscient magician superhero up there going, you better suck that baby's penis or I'm going to send you to hell. What's the problem? Who in their right mind would have even thought that this kind of a thing, this kind of a procedure done to a baby would have anything to do with the worship of a deity? Somebody needs to explain that to me. You know, I mean, who was it that made this rule up do they sit around a big table or something made of oak or, or what's your favorite wood that uh that desert wood they have whatever i don't care whatever it is they sit around the table and say how could we have a covenant with our god and prove to him we love him i don't know because that abraham story is a bunch of bullshit you know that don't you they made that up in order to make it sound biblical but actually, it was a bunch of old Jews sitting around a table going, how can we have a coach? I know what we can do. Some pedophile jumps up and says, and actually mentions the procedure. We can mutilate our baby's penises. God will be happy with that. No, it was all about stopping the kids from masturbating, doing what people do. Because they're sexually frustrated. They don't want to play the dating game. They want to be able to own their women. Just like the Muslims. Just like the Christians, the Mormons, and everybody else. There isn't a religion in the world that doesn't have at its base the idea that man, the male, is the, the head of the house, the leader, and what he says goes. There isn't a religion alive that doesn't have that as part of its tenet in one way or another.
It's all about subjugation and ownership of women. It's all about sexual frustration. All religion is. I really believe that. I mean, come on. Every rule you all have something, about, something to do with your penis. You freaks. What's wrong with you guys? And you tell us we have no morals because we don't believe in a myth that we don't have superheroes, that we take responsibility for our actions, that we can look at a woman, I can look at a woman completely naked and not get an erection. What, do you not understand that? Can you take responsibility and have the, the ability to do that? I'm specifically talking to Muslims. Or, or, I mean, I should say Islamics. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to call you. Muslim? Are you a Muslim? And so, therefore, you're Islam? You Then you follow the religion? Or is it that because you're Islam, you're Muslim? I don't get it. I don't care. Whoever the religious ones are, the ones that are either rewriting the Quran, I don't care what you're doing. You're still you're treating your women like shit. And why you say you're it's, it doesn't tell you to treat your women that way in the Quran. I don't know. That's a lie. It's exactly what it tells you to do. Just like the Bible. It tells you to kill your own daughter if she's not a virgin for crying out loud. It's the, the craziest shit. And you people, you'll read it. And I don't know what you're getting out of it. I get pornography out of it. To me, it sounds like Stephen King and, and Dean Coons. You're just a bunch of freaks, and you follow these deities with all this. Oh my gosh. You know they're aliens, don't you? That all they're doing is they've been around for thousands of years trying to understand humankind. And uh, I believe they still don't get us, which is why we haven't been fully contacted. We've been contacted, but not fully. You can call me anything you want. It's in the service. I did my duty. I saw what I saw. Special ops. Fuck you. That has nothing to do with the fact that. You guys think it's a superhero that has superpowers. Whereas, I understand there are other corporeal beings with intelligence and civilizations in this galaxy and universe besides ours. And they're not gods. Even the Sumerians knew they weren't, knew that they were just visitors from the stars. Which is why they named them that. Anunnaki, those who from the stars came. So that's it. So instead of all the mythological goofy bullshit, just take reality by the hand and tell yourself that all this crap they tell you about these things is just that crap. Read it critically. See that a man can't live in a fish for three days. Sodom and Gomorrah, earthquake, who knows what, volcano, through flaming, who knows, you know, I mean, there, there's so many, the flood, there's probably a thousand flood myths in the world from different parts of the world. What do you expect to happen when the ice caps melt and the human beings are stuck with all this water rising deeper and deeper, ruining their coastline, having to move farther and farther? It's going to look like a great flood. There's a lot of things going on, but I really wanted to concentrate on, the, on that, that the, the genital mutilation thing. Male and female, neither is acceptable. Neither has a single health benefit. When you come along and tell me that at five years old, your parents said you had a tight prey push and you had to have it. So bullshit. They're feeling guilty now that they've read the reality. And they're giving you an excuse. You don't need that. Tell them it's all right, mom and dad. You didn't know then. You didn't understand. You can forgive them, man. It's cool. Tell them it's okay. From then on, y'all have to know and get the word out. You and your parents. Don't believe that crap about you know. Cause just because they lied to you, they did it for. They didn't want you to feel like you were different. Okay. But the thing about how, you know, a circumcised guy in a not one, you know, in a locker room making fun of it. I never got made fun of. Did you? If some guy looked at my dick and tried to make fun of it, I'd say, why are you looking at my penis anyway? Why are you looking at my dick? 
you know, what else would you do? 